Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We are still striving forwards trying to get better equipment so we can push it forwards through the various levels. We still need our belt, we still need the halo of Arlis, we still need the uh, uh, Traveler's Pledge, and we still need Deathwish and Rhymeheart. There's a lot that we still need to get. I think for the moment, running into rifts is going to be our best bet for getting equipment and death's breath. So let's just crack straight on with that. I've got about an hour until I have to go and feed the cats, so it's a good opportunity to burn some things. Burn, baby, burn. Sewer Inferno. I I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, so it's a it's a fun weekend that's going quite well for me. All in all, had a very fun uh, Mexican-themed night the other day. My lovely lady uh, did some homemade tacos and guacamole and uh, mattress and other delicious things. And we watched Machete Kills, which is a brilliant, terrible bad film. And for those of you who've been watching the channel for quite a long time, you know how much I love my bad film. And it was spot on the right level of terrible in order to uh, to watch and thoroughly enjoy it. I, I love it. And I think my, uh, my lady did as well, which is always good. Better than being just me A bit unusual, given it's uh, coming up to St. Patrick's Day uh, over here, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with having random themed evenings just to make some double it makes, a, it makes a change from the normal fare anyway. I don't have any parking power. Uh, plus, she's, uh, she just got back from, uh, from traveling, and uh, I love spicy food, so it was a brilliant excuse to kind of uh, take both things out and once. Right, let's uh, push on up this way. Yeah, we've got another batch of uh, snow here in, uh, in London at the moment, which is not exactly convenient. I mean, the thinking of uh, kind of uh, doing some tidying in the garden, preparing for the warmer weather, you know, getting ready for a, a barbecue and um, invite people over. No, snow. So definitely not the right weather to be cleaning and tidying outside. Wrap up warm and uh, and we'll do it another time. We'll do it another time. I mean, if you were like really extreme, you could try and have a barbecue out there at the moment. <laughs> You'd be like just freezing yourself for the sake of it. From a science point of view, though, uh, it being cold outside does really matter uh, for the sake of cooking um, well, uh, meat or uh, veg or whatever it is that you normally stick on a barbecue. Um, I like uh, reading um, XKCD uh, and uh, the what if. Uh, parts are very interesting. Well, there's a, uh, there was a uh, just a couple of weeks ago about um, you know what if you were to put a toaster inside of a refrigerator would it, or, or a freezer um, would it still be able to toast successfully? And uh, the important thing in this situation to remember is that to fire or any heat uh, rendering device, the world is cold. It doesn't matter like a couple of degrees extra because you're cooking things up to several hundred degrees, um, whether it's centigrade or Fahrenheit. Adding 20 degrees to that is not going to make a big difference. So yes, you can have a barbecue out in in the snow. It would be a bit weird. It would be a bit foolish, but it would totally work. It would totally work. Winter barbecues could be a thing. Your food would get pretty damn cold quickly afterwards, though. So it'd have to be, uh, have to be stuff that you either didn't mind eating cold, or you know you're happy to eat quickly enough. But it also means if you ever go on like a polar expedition or something, you can totally cook and ooh, get, ooh, what's this? Uh, get nice warm food uh, in order to help run along. We got Deathwish. This is awesome. Okay, so. It's not a particularly good death wish, but we can re-roll it, and that makes me very happy. So while channeling Arcane Torrent, all of our damage is increased by 260%. This is great. This is so great. In fact, uh, yeah, we would lose 25% uh, 
damage changing over to it. Because it's not ancient. But it's I'm 25% damage versus 260% damage. It's probably going to be worth us swapping over to it anyway, actually, thinking about it. Because we are always channeling Arcane Torrent. And that is that is one of the pieces that we need for both this build and the Legacy of Nightmares build. If only it was ancient, I mean, that would be perfect. But uh, it is a very, very good boon for us to get that. Not quite enough for me to actually want to run back to town and switch it over just yet. We'll wait until we're done with this rift. But that is, uh, that is hella good for us. Alright. And that was only from like a little thing. That wasn't even from like a, a, a big mob or anything. You know, just uh, casually finding these as we go along. Uh, let's get that pool of reflection. Uh, we've got to make sure that we do keep up our various buffs. Can't be having them run out. So halfway through the game. Let's uh, burn more of these. And where are we going to go? We're going to go after you. Stand back just a tiny bit. We've got ourselves another Garrigan that always nice. Always nice. Grab that, grab that. We'll put that point in now, actually. Uh, that's going to go in attack speed. I am tempted to move that across to critical chance, but uh, while we've got broken promises in the queue, it's nice to minimise that just a little bit. It, it almost certainly doesn't ever trigger. Um, but it, it could do. It could do. Yeah, burn them all. Burn them all. Uh, even if we get nothing else for the rest of the session, I'm happy enough that the, uh, the random number generator, RNG Jesus or Lucifer, whichever you prefer, um, has decided to smile on us a little bit today. I mean, the only thing that would uh, make today an absolutely perfect day is if Kadala actually gave us something nice, but we all know that's not going to happen. It's still worth us uh, spending our death breaths on swords, though, um, for upgrading, because we do still need to find Rhymeheart as part of our personal challenge uh, with my brother. Yeah, you know, if we if we get another um, death wish, then I'm I'm not going to be sad about it. it. It could even go in the cube. In fact, I think we need one cube or uh, either death wish or Rhymeheart in the cube. Probably Rhyme Heart. Need more but, uh, let's kill these. We are getting pretty close to Guardian time. If you killed while the killing's good. Oh, look at this. Yeah, give me that channeling pilot. And a power pilot. Alright. Not ready yet. And we'll go after this dude, because, you know, once he starts burning, he counts as an elite, so all damage gets massively increased. Right, Tetris is go Oh, Tetris is so gone. We've got a belt for that. Oh, is that... If that's Hug Bash's binding, then... I need to go back. Come on, let's get back to town. All right. Okay, let's let's put the paragon point in. That's going to resist all. Oh goody, the blessed of Hall. I mean, it's it's kind of hilarious, but no, that's a, that's a definite no. We're going to swap over Serpent Sparker now. Uh, let's. Remove this. Yeah, we're losing 26% damage in general for that. 
but it is so worth it because we're gaining 260% damage as long as we keep channeling. So do the maths, do the maths. And we're gaining a bit of extra toughness as well. Uh, Serpent Sparker, that may as well go over here. We're gonna have to start putting some of these in the cube eventually. And how are we doing for Death's Rest 21? We've got plenty of blood shards though, so Kadala, let's talk doing? about belts because belts yeah, are important. Uh, Jang's envelopment, that's a no. That is too expensive. Wow. So much disappointment. Not gonna complain though. Not gonna complain because we got a death wish. Death wish? No, just death, death wish. Death wish. I can speak. I'm good at this. Uh, let's push up to Torment 6. Uh, with Death Wish, I don't think that's going to be a problem for the extra damage we do. And 260% extra damage. It's not the best Death Wish. Uh, that's for certain. We will want to re-roll it at some point, but for the moment... Look at that, it, everything is just taking so much extra damage. And we're taking a fair amount of damage ourselves, so we do need to be careful. But when things die that much faster, it's a fair bit easier for you. Survivability is, once again, <laughs> I've said it before, it is going to be our sticking point for being able to move forwards. So we do need to be careful and not too reckless. We do obviously have our um, double get out of jail free, get out of death free resurrection skills. It's you doing the resurrecting, isn't it? Right, you can die. Try and keep on top of there you go. Is that everything from this area gone? Close enough. Pop, 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 pop. I do like that everything bleeds. Well, bleeds not bleeds. Uh, it takes damage over time from burning. As we're attacking it all. Yeah, we are making uh, pretty solid progress with our. Um, character in general. I mean, the Court of the Sherman that we got last time is not the best thing ever, but it's not terrible for what we're trying to do. And with our um, legendary gem that we've got, the uh, the Bane of the Trap, it's, it's a reasonable option for us to... Let's not be in the middle of that. A reasonable option for us to be using... There we go, that's pushing things on a bit further for us. Definitely keeping the uh, teleporting for getting out of trouble though. Because we are getting quite close to the wire on some of these bits of damage we're taking. It all seems to be fine and manageable, but uh, yeah, keep the arcane power high, keep the, the escape options available. What's that channeling file on? That will be quite nice actually. This way, we're ah, good. I was wondering when we'd get our next big kill. Get him gone, and we can grab all of these. There we go. That puts us back in a better time. Definitely don't need to overdo it and push forwards. We've got plenty of time to get through this rift and get the rift guardian. So let's not throw it away for the sake of trying to push it too fast. Too soon. I'm really part one of the reasons why I have um, pushed on a little bit is so we can put the difficulty up. Um, knowing that we've got that extra damage from Death Wish and 
not so much the damage, more the um, the extra 11% uh, survivability um, that we picked up from it. It doesn't take much to make you feel a bit more powerful. 11% is quite a lot to actually throw onto your hit point level. So I felt that was enough for us to be able to move forwards at least one greater uh, rhythm level. And it looks like it's, it's not a terrible plan for what we've been doing. This channeling pylon is certainly helping us. It's lasting a good amount of time. Vortex and Worm. A fun combination for not knowing where the hell you're supposed to be standing. I do like being able to manually pop the uh, black holes as well when we see groups that definitely need just like a little bit of clustering together. Okay, what have we got? We've got another couple of rounds here. We're going to do burning to death on this side. Let's get the meteors falling. Ah, Channeling Pollen has run out. Alright, back to being careful. Ooh, well, that'll bring her arcane power back. Yeah, get them all in together. Yeah, we are pretty much walking through this. It would be very, very different if um, if there was a lot of ranged nasties flinging stuff everywhere. So we can't get cocky and just be like, yeah, this is totally fine. We'll do it all every single day. We're certainly pretty beefy. And these are exactly the kind of ranged nasties that I would worry about. Lots of ranged attacks that you can dodge, but, you know, they're, they're a hassle to these guys as well. If they get a lot of shots on you, then it could be very painful. Very painful. Wow, that was, that was a quick rift. <laughs> quick level, very quick level. Oh, How are we doing over here? Down. Uh, I'm also quite excited in uh, in general at the moment. Um, going back to film, which I sometimes uh, talk about, I saw the uh, uh, the first trailer for Infinity War. Heal up just a little bit there, and it looks it looks so good. I still have to see Black Panther, uh, but the plan is to see that at some point this week. Uh, make sure that I'm fully up to date uh, before going into Infinity War. But the storyline has been building for such a long period of time. Uh, it's going to be awesome. that was so cool. I mean, that was just like obliteration. So there's a source in that. Let's uh, grab that. Let's see the gem. Uh, that's not a source we care about. That's the mirror ball. Is that the mirror ball? Oh no, it's the light of grace. Oh, ray of frost now pierces. Well, it's an interesting one. Um, it kind of turns ray of frost into disintegrate, but just like a worse version. And simplicity strength is all right. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's keep pushing Bane of the Stricken. Now, after Bane of the Stricken... I think yeah we don't actually have the invigorating gemstone but I think that's what we're going to end up going for uh, we'll put that into resource cost reduction let's head back to town and we'll hand this in not a brilliant haul but uh, 
we got a decent amount of experience and we showed that it's certainly going to work and we get two more Garrigan levels just from coming out of that array for more movement speed. Uh, Light of Grace, you can go down here. Uh, Simplicity's Strength, you can come across uh, up here, that's fine, and we'll salvage up the rest. And then we'll go back in for another. Uh, yeah, we don't don't want to do anything else. Let's uh, pop these down. And another greater risk. Torment 6. Good start. Start off with the Alpha Strike. That's what I like. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll get some Arcane Power. Just hold your horses. Hold your horses. Okay. More ranged attackers. Got to be careful with Kazra. They do do a fair amount of damage. Not nearly as much as those uh, those little flying poison dudes, though. But when there's enough of them, oh yeah, it can it can really hurt. And they they're distracting. They're easily distracting. Now this is by far not an efficient way of fighting that I'm doing, kind of like stuck stepping around. Really, we'd want to get big groups together and then focus on them all at the same time. Uh, we end up doing more damage that way, but we're not necessarily survivable enough to take on big groups. So we have to be a little bit cautious with this. Shield pylon, alright. That changes the game. Big groups, hello! Get some nice big ass groups together. And we're going up this way actually. Try and use the shield pylon as much as possible by getting big bits together and there we go. Murdering them all at the same time. Shield Pylon is over half done, so I'd like to find another decent yellow pack or blue pack before it runs out. Uh, but we also want to make the area safe before it runs out. There we go, there's some. Let's not stand in the poison. Fifteen point eight million is a decent amount to be putting on them. So while we're channeling, we will be increasing the damage of this conduit pylon, which is kind of a little interesting thing. Right, let's uh, push on quickly while the pylon is there. So we want to be zapping as many things as possible with it. Take full advantage. Rift is going so quickly. A couple of uh, things in the right right places makes all the difference. Help did get a little bit low there, so let's be a tiny bit more cautious. As we push off and grab this. Channeling pylon, of course, helping, but not uh, too much, but lasts a tiny amount of time comparatively. Hello. Fire chains, that's a lot of potential damage. Fire chains and well, Mostly I wanted to kill him on the track to make sure we didn't lose the, uh, the purple orbs. They can end up in pretty hard to get places, and even with our teleporting around, you know, it's, it's just easier to, to wait until they come back. Who have we got down here? Few guys on the left, few guys on the right. If only they could see me now. Not much going on over here though. But we can go up and around a little bit. 
Give me some more packs. That's what I want. We're doing alright with our resource packs because things aren't nearly packed together as much as they could be. I wonder, if I stop channeling, does the fact that I've already launched it mean that the Arcane Torrent would still have the damage bonus from Death Wish? Or do I need to be channeling when it hits as well? Right, these mortar guys need to die quickly. There we go. It's all about focusing on what's important. And that's not dying. Not dying is very important. Let's just push on through. Oh. That was probably a little bit dangerous just jumping down there like that, but I was feeling cocky. We do have ways of running away should we need them. Uh, let's grab this actually. Nearly time for the Rift Guardian. Let's see if we can get them when we've got the power pump. Not that we need it. I'm, I'm just going to say not that we need it because we have so much damage that it goes really quickly. Boots and a two-handed mace and Enforcer. Well, Enforcer isn't exactly uh, the gem we needed. Uh, that is the one that uh, increases pet damage. Uh, so we're going to keep putting into Bane of the Stricken. There we go, and we'll head back to town. And let's put the Garrigan point in over here. Okay, that gives us another one, not another two this time. My cat has decided to join me because it is getting close to his food time. So what are these boots like? These boots are worse than our current ones. They're like worse in every way. So we're gonna salvage them up Crush Bane, Crushbane is nice, but um, it's not exactly going to help us at all. So that's going to be salvaged up as well. Gone and gone. Enforcer, you can go over here and we'll talk to Kadala about belts once again. It's almost like we saw this coming. Another call of the Sherma. Yeah, that's actually not terrible compared to our current one. We'll take it. And the existing one can go down in here. And eventually we'll salvage it up, I'm sure. Okay, we've got time for one more regular rift. So let's make it let's make it a good one. Let's make it a Torment 6 one. Uh, so change over to Torment 6. And this should be fine. I reckon this is going to be absolutely fine. Embrace your I mean, we're very quickly going to get another Garrigan level, so... That will help for the tiny, tiny percentage bonus it ends up giving us. Hello, monster. Some... I can hear a goblin of some kind. Spiders everywhere. Right, let's make sure they all burn. Kill it with fire! Where did the goblin go? There he is. Cool, he's gone. So we can kill everything else and then... No, don't breathe on me. Kill everything else and then we can go and loot whatever he had. A couple of plans, death, lots of death threats. That is good for us. Right. Loot the room! Kill the annoying things before they carry on being annoying. 
and then set the new dude on fire. Wow, he just like popped in one. This is actually really good for monster density. Come on, just set him on fire. There we go. So we're up to 31% already. Let's put that Garrigan point into movement speed before I forget about it. Not that I'm going to forget about it, but you know, while, while it's quiet, I'll take advantage of that. And we'll head up this way where that spawning dude was before we obliterate them. Always target the summoners first. Ooh, amulet. Looks like Dovu Energy Trap. We'll just check it quickly. Yeah, it is. Nothing in the adventurer's body. Let's kill the things that can charge us. I love getting black holes on those. It's just so satisfying knowing that they're not going to be able to like, charge them in a one shot. At this difficulty level, they can't quite one shot me, but uh, it's happened enough times in the past that it's like, you know what? Black hole. Black hole every time. If your opponent can't charge you, they can't fight. If they're dead, then they can't fight either, but, you know, you, you work on step one before step two. Definitely don't want these guys to breathe on us. Yeah, their fire uh, breath that they put out is quite nasty. Other than dervishes, it's probably the, the thing that scares me most, potentially, in the game. How are we doing down here? Hey, another pack. All right. And they are already gone. That makes me very happy. Let's carry on burning these guys up and then we'll grab those walls. Right. Charge and get a nice group together make sure that we're being efficient with our arcane power usage. Hey, there's another pack right. Nope. Not without any arcane power, we're not doing that. That we will do, you know, just like standing back after we've got some back and obliterate. I'm totally happy with that. But for <laughs> what's going on? when they charge on in and we've got nothing in the tank. It's just like, nope. Get clean out of there. Oh, there's another pack. Perfect. And you as well, mate. Cool. Okay, good number of decimals. That makes me happy. I think that's probably all the mobs in this area. Uh, we'll put that Garrigan point into attack speed and let's move on. Nearly all the mobs in the area. I mean, when they're hiding by the exit, then I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to murder them on the way out. 85% through that rift. And behind door number one is... Cultists! And behind door number two is... a chest. And I didn't open the other chest down by the entrance, but... It's good to open them now and then, just in case. Just in case. Sometimes you get lucky.
And nothing over here. We can target these guys though. And it looks like we've got some uh, some big mobs on the other side of this door, so get them all cooked. Another death breath. I love it. That is just hilarious when they end up uh, getting dragged around. It will never get old. It gets old very quickly when it's me getting dragged around, but it will never get old when it's them. We are almost at Rift Guardian time, and there's a power farm right there. Alright. Alright. Let me set you on fire. Okay, Rift Guardian is gone. Let's loot all this up. And I want to just sanity check the other area. Make sure we didn't leave any death spreads behind. Yeah, like that one. Alright, back to town. And we've got 39 death breaths, so we'll put this Garrigan point in. Let's salvage up the stuff that we found. Uh, did we find a sword? No, that's a dagger. So we'll need to make a sword. Forge. Forge a sword. In fact, we'll teach that. And we'll teach Shen's one as well. Okay, so... Upgrade time. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's another twisted sword. Oh, goody, goody. Goody, goody. Kadala, give me some belts. I know it's going to be depressing, but... Yeah complete disappointment. Well, I mean, you can't win them all, but we did get a death, breath, uh, death Wish this session, so I certainly can't complain about that. Let's just salvage that up because we've got a spare. Um, but I am going to finish that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, we are continuing to push on, of course, and we're making reasonable progress, I'd say. Uh, gradually finding the bits and bobs that we need. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, then uh, do feel free to drop it in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon.